Good morning. Thank you for joining me for online story time with the Pflugerville Public Library. My name is Miss Amanda and I'm one of the librarians at the Pflugerville Library. Just a reminder, grown-ups, story time is meant to be enjoyed together with parents and kids. So I encourage you to grab a seat with your little one and get comfortable and ready to sing some songs with us. We're going to Today we're going to enjoy a story, we're going to sing songs, I'm going to show you a little craft that you can do at home, and I'm also going to show you a couple of books that I would recommend checking out from the library. Let's get started by singing The More We Get Together. I'm going to follow along on my ukulele. Do you guys remember how we know the difference between a guitar and a ukulele? What is one of the big differences? If you said that a ukulele has four strings, you are absolutely right. Let's count the strings together. One, two, three, four. Four strings. And now we're going to sing. Now we're going to sing this song, The More We Get Together, two times. So if you don't know the words, that's okay because you can follow along with me the second time. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends, the more we get together, the Now it is time for us to get started with our story. Here we go. The story that I'm going to tell you today is called The Egg, and I adapted it from Dr. Jean's website, drjeanandfriends.blogspot.com. She has all these super fun cut and tell stories, and how that works is you take a piece of paper and you take a pair of scissors, and while you tell the story, you cut out your picture. So I'm gonna try that with you today and we'll see how it goes. So first I need to make sure I have all my supplies. Now, we know I have my scissors and I intended to have yellow paper because this story will have a chick and I wanted to have a yellow chick, but wouldn't you know it, my children drew all over all of the yellow paper. So there is no more yellow paper left in my house. So instead, we are going to have a pink egg and a pink chick. And if I mess up on this take, instead, we're going to have a purple egg and a purple chick. And if I mess up on that take, then we're going to have a black egg and a black chick because I am lucky that my children left me any construction paper at all in this house. Here we go. Once upon a time, it was springtime and Mother Hen decided that it, she was ready to lay her egg. So she got her nest all nice and cozy and comfortable for her little egg. Now who can tell me, what do you think a hen might do to make her nest comfortable? I want you to talk about it with your grown-ups. Something soft to sit on? Maybe a nice quiet area. Yeah, I think those would all be cozy things. So Mother Hen sat on the nest and she laid a beautiful egg. Now, Mother Hen could not leave the egg. Nope. Mother Hen, I think Mother Hen came to visit. Hold on just a second. I think I see her. Give me just a moment. Here she is, Mother Hen came to sit on her egg. So Mother Hen, she came and she sat on her egg. She had to sit on her egg to keep it warm and safe. And even though the rain fell and the wind blew, whoosh, Mother Hen did not leave her egg. But she got very hungry and she needed a little break because even mothers need breaks sometimes. And so, two little friends came along. The first little friend was a bug named Kate. There it is. And then along came another friend 
a bug named Mac. And they kept the little egg comfortable and safe and warm so that Mother Hen could go take a break and get some food. Go ahead, Mother Hen. They'll be okay. One day, as Mother Hen was sitting on the egg, she heard a cracking sound. And she saw a crack in her egg. Then she heard a great big cracking sound. Crack. And out of the crack came her little baby chick. And they all lived happily ever after. All right, you guys, next up, we are going to sing a song. We're gonna sing one of my favorite songs. The song is by Lori Berkner. Um, we have some of her CDs, CDs available to check out from the library, and she has a lot of fun videos on YouTube, including a video for this song. Oh, I know a chicken. So, for this song, it works out, it's the most fun, if you can find something to be a shaky egg. So, at the library, we have little egg shakers that we get to use, but you can make your own. If you have any plastic eggs at home, you can fill that with rice or beans and use that to be your shaky egg. Or, in my case, I found an LOL container and I filled it with some Legos. So I'm gonna close that up and this is my shaky egg. Here we go. Now the way this song works is that I'm gonna sing a line and then when I point to you, you repeat it. Here we go. Oh, I know a chicken. And she laid an egg. Oh, I know a chicken. And she laid an egg. Oh my goodness. It's a shaky egg. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it down. Shake it down, shake it down, shake it down. Shake it to the side. Shake it to the side and stop. Oh, I know a chicken. And she laid an egg. Oh, I know a chicken. And she laid an egg. Oh my goodness! It's a shaky egg. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, it slow. Shake it all around. Shake it up and down and stop. Good job, you guys. You did a very good job. Next, we're going to sing one of my favorite songs about birds. What do you think, Nim Nimmy? This is Nymeria. She is my kitty cat. I adopted her when she came to visit at the library as a kitten and needed a home. And uh, apparently she's going to sing with us today. So here we go. Ready? Get your arms ready. Way up in the sky, the little birdies fly. And down in the nest, the little birdies rest. With the wing on the left and a wing on the right, the little birdies sleep all through the night. They're sleeping. The bright sun comes up and the dew falls away. Good morning, good morning, the little birdies say. Chirp, chirp, chirp. 
Wonderful. Can I, s I want to see if you guys can chirp up. Ready? Can you make your hands like this, like little beaks? Go chirp, chirp. Good job. All right. Nimi, can you say bye to our friends? Bye. Nimi has to go away now because she's a little bit distracting to me. Well, despite what I said just a second ago, Nimi has decided not to go away and she wants to continue to be part of story time with you and me today. But next up, I'm going to tell you guys about a couple of books that I think you should put on reserve at the library. The first one is called Peep and Egg. I'm not hatching. This is by Laura Gell and pictures by Joyce Wan. This book is a super, super cute book about a little egg that, unlike the one we read today, this egg does not want to hatch. And so I recommend you read this and find out if little egg does in fact hatch at the end of the story. The other book that I brought to share with you is so funny. This one is called Chicken Break. This is extra fun because it's not just about chickens. It's a counting book. And you know, I love counting. It's very good. So it has all sorts of fun pictures for you to hunt through and find things and work on your counting. This is a really fun book for little bitty ones and older kids too. Are you guys ready to sing Old MacDonald? Who knows that song? I want you to yell, me, 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 if you know that song. I knew that some of you knew that song. Well, my friend here, the chicken, is going to help us sing today. Now, normally when I do this song at the library, I either have lots of animal friends to help me or Charlotte the pig helps me. And Charlotte's a very talented pig. Charlotte can do lots of barnyard animal sounds. But I don't have Charlotte here with me, so Henrietta the hen is gonna help me out instead. Now, little Henny, can you do different barnyard sounds? Oh, and he says yes. Well, let's find out. How about we start with, we'll start off easy. Let's start with the chicken because we know Henrietta can do chicken sound. Here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O. With a cluck, cluck here and a cluck, cluck there. Here, cluck there, cluck everywhere, cluck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Now, are you ready for the next animal, Henrietta? All right, let's see what comes up next. Let's try, let's try a pig. I think a pig is pretty easy. What sound does a pig make? That's right, a pig says oink. Now let's try it. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with a click, click here. Henrietta, that is not right. Pigs do not cluck, pigs go oink. Let's hear it. No, no, Henrietta. We need to oink, cluck. Oink, cluck. Oink, cluck, cluck. One more chance, here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a pig, pig, E-I-E-I-O. With a oink, oink, here, oink, oink, there, here, oink, there, oink, everywhere, oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Good job, Henrietta. Henrietta learned to oink. She's a very talented chicken. All right, I think that's probably, no, you wanna do one more? Which one? Okay, one more. Henrietta said that she's always wanted to moo like a cow. So let's try it. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a click, click here. Henrietta, do cows go cluck, cluck? Oh, it's okay, Henrietta. You tried really hard. Let's try it one more time all together. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Okay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With moo moo here and moo moo there. Here moo, there moo, everywhere moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. <gasps> 
Good job, Henrietta. What a talented chicken. All right, can you guys, you guys all say goodbye to Henrietta? All right, bye, Henrietta.